Hello there, my name is Ron, I play the oboe, and I make oboe YouTube videos. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to shape cane. Usually, I recommend learning how to shape cane when you're already pretty comfortable tying blanks and doing a basic scrape on the reed. That's kind of a, a point where you're pretty serious about reed making and you're ready to make the investment in buying a shaper tip and a shaper handle. Shaper tips can be quite expensive. Sometimes you can get them as low as a hundred bucks and sometimes you can get them that are like more than $300. This is the Adam Sarah Shaper Tip and I'm really excited to try it for the first time. In this process, you're starting from gouged cane. If you've gouged it yourself, that's great and you wanna make sure you've used a dial micrometer to make sure that it is the correct thickness that you want. My own preferred thickness is about 0.58, of a millimeter. I usually find that if it gets like above 0.61, it becomes too heavy of a read and it's kind of hard to manage. And if it goes like below like 0.57, it's becoming too flexible. And so you really have quite a narrow window um, to make sure that you have like a really good gouge. And of course this gouge is measured along the center of the piece of cane. After you get your dry gouged cane, you want to make sure that you soak it in bath temperature water for about 15 to 20 minutes. You want to make sure the cane is flexible and pliable enough that you're going to be doing a bunch of stuff to it and it's not going to crack. But if you soak it too long, the cane will get waterlogged and it'll actually be more difficult to work with. So I usually find 15 to 20 minutes is the sweet spot for that. So what I'm going to do first is pop on the shaper tip onto the shaper handle. And so I wanna make sure it's aligned with it. And then I have like a little uh, hex key um, that will help me tighten the shaper handle on the shaper tip. Sometimes uh, your shaper tip might have like um, a manual a screw that you can just like turn and I think that that design is really fantastic. Next up is scoring the cane. So what I'm going to do is put my cane on an easel and take a, a reed knife, this is kind of my bark knife, my worst knife, and just follow the groove and make like a little, I'm not pressing too hard, but just enough to get like a little scoring on that. So you can see there's like a tiny bit of a little line which is going to be perfectly in the middle of the cane. Then I'm going to put that little groove right where the top of my knife is and very gently push it over and fold the cane over the knife. Perfect. So now we have this folded piece of cane. As you know, this is what makes the double reed. Next is taking the ears off. Because as it is, this cane is too wide to fit on the shaper tip. I just take my knife and I'm going to go in and just take an equal amount off of both sides just to thin it out. Because that part is not going to make it into the finished reed. Next thing we're going to place the cane onto the shaper tip as far down as it will go. And then I'm going to pull up the clamps. So this is, you want to make sure this is loose enough. Pull it up all the way. And start tightening. And you want to make sure that it looks pretty symmetrical. You don't have like the cane placed in a weird way. You want to pay close attention to symmetry and weed making always. Next up, I'm going to start shaping the cane. I prefer using a box cutter uh, or like a utility knife as opposed to using a razor blade. This is for so many reasons, but like it's so much easier to grip. With a little razor blade, it's easy to, for it to slip and it's hard to hold on to and it's much easier to injure yourself and you also have less control. I'm going to start on one side. I'm trying to hold the shaper handle in a way that it's pretty stable. I've got my wrist anchored against the desk and I'm pulling the and I'm pulling the utility knife towards me and taking off the sides of the cane. I'm going to do a few rough 
strokes on each side. And then I'm going to go in very carefully. Great, and that's pretty much shaped. The last thing that I like to do as a little bonus is I just like to sand down the sides of the cane a tiny bit just to make it really smooth and not have any little flyaway pieces of cane. And there you have it. A shaped piece of cane that's going to be ready to tie on and turn into a beautiful reed for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe because there's going to be lots more great oboe content coming your way on my channel. As well, if you're on Instagram, please find me there at oboron. I would love to connect with you. Please leave any questions that you have in the comments. I will definitely get back to you and have a great day.